What's up guys, Shea Stevens here, PDGA number 77522, and today we're taking a look at the Axiom Vision Time Lapse. Let's get to it. So I've been very eager to get my hands on these testers, guys. This batch is great. You got the Neutron Detour finally releasing in stock. You got the Electron Entropy. Thank you. And these Fission Time Lapses, I knew I had to get my hands on just because they look a lot more manageable than the stock release of the Neutron Time Lapse. I mean, the prototypes for Crazy OS. But even the stock releases, you know, hurt a lot of egos. We'll be honest. You guys, you know, I saw a lot of people crying. You know, they're not real 12 speed, you know, negative one, three discs. You know, they're not like my destroyers, you know, super consistent there. Uh, but these, I think everyone can throw. The big characteristic is they just have like stupid amounts of dome on them. Um, but yeah, I was really eager to get my hands on them. Unfortunately, I got them the day after I was involved in an accident. Nothing serious for me, luckily. Uh, a Freightliner rear-ended a SUV while we were at a stop and pushed the SUV into me. And, you know, I heard the first accident. I heard, you know, the first collision. And then obviously I, I tensed up and got bumped. So back has been sore. So I've been taking it easy. And I waited a week and went out to the field to try. And I was still feeling a little bit tense. So I am holding myself back for these uh, tester throws, guys. But that should just give you even more, you know, comfort in knowing how easy these discs are to throw. Uh, but before we get to the field throws, let's take a look at some side-by-sides. And starting off with the side-by-side -side comparisons, we have the testers here. So we have the 165 gram fission time lapse on the left up against the 156 gram on the right. And you'll love to see this consistency. The nose, parting lines, perfectly lined up. The only difference I see is the 156 gram actually has a little bit more dome uh, than the heavier version. So that's kind of neat to see. Uh, but other than that, I'm really happy with this consistency. And now for a stark contrast, we have the 165 gram fission time lapse on the left up against a stock run neutron time lapse on the right. And guys, they are almost different discs. I mean, just just look at the uh, fission time lapse, the nose, the parting line height, so much lower, you know, predictably much more understable than the neutron time lapse. And I flipped them over. You can see here in the next shot, it is it is crazy how much dome they put on this fission time lapse. It's going to have so much more glide be so much more understable it's gonna be such a good workable disc so if you didn't like the neutron time lapse because it was too overstable for you or it didn't glide enough the fission time lapse should do it for you uh for your big arms though like simon eagle i predict this is gonna be like their roller or their crazy like hyzer flip trick shot disc all right guys so i actually have two sessions under my belt throwing these discs I went out in the morning when it was nice and calm and was shaping some great lines. I thought I had some good stuff to show you, but unfortunately I was a dum-dum and forgot to put my ND filter on my camera lens and the morning sun just overexposed everything. Uh, it's all, you know, blown out so you can't really see anything. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, those were the better shots. So I went out that afternoon uh, and threw again, but the wind had picked up substantially. It's like 20 mile an hour sustained. So I'm throwing with a big tailwind. Uh, I tried throwing into a headwind and these guys were just getting turned and burned. Even uh, the heavier one. Uh, in terms of uh, flight differences, the wind really exposed the difference between the uh, the 156 gram and the 165 gram here. Uh, this guy was getting shredded by the tail uh, by a headwind, so uh, that's where it really showed the difference. When I was throwing them in calm conditions, they were very comparable. You can see here I have a bunch of shots where they were landing within the same you know 10 feet of each other on multiple occasions. So. Uh, but I went with the tailwind uh, for the video, so you can see here, just you know, throwing it on backhand highs or even in calm conditions, and in, and in the tailwind, you still get some great flip and ride out of these discs, and just great forward pushing hyzers. Uh, that's one thing I loved about the neutron time lapse was as it hyzered, it didn't just find the ground; it kept pushing forward. Uh, that has been maintained in the fission version, so uh, that's a really great characteristic to see for a distance driver. Throwing it flat, you just mash these guys; uh, they go stupid far and i'm not trying to throw hard again i'm you know still hurt uh but i was pushing them with the tailwind into the 390s uh without issue uh in the comm session i was definitely playing around the 375 mark uh but yeah that's me throwing with maybe like 60 percent power so i'm definitely interested interested to see how these things handle me uh when i'm at my best so hopefully my back will heal up soon and i can rip these guys some more uh, on Anheuser, it was just so much fun. Just If you have the airspace to work, just give this thing some Annie, put it up high, and just flex it out and watch it work. Uh, 
absolute bomber. So really fun disc, very workable, I think, for a lot of arm speeds. Uh, on forehand, I didn't think I would like it on forehand because these domes, again, are like ridiculous. I've never, I don't think I've seen any bigger domes before on a disc. Uh, but because this is Fission, and actually to talk about the Fission Blend guys, this feels amazing. Uh, we've had some recent runs of Fission where it's been kind of glossy, a little slick. Uh, I'd usually have to beat a disc up for like two weeks just to get that, you know, that smooth finish off uh, to get that tackiness that I like in Fission. But this stuff right out the bat, nice and grippy. No worry about slippage. Uh, and on forehand, it feels really comfortable. I can sink my hand into it. And I was just snapping off some great forehands. Uh, that we're pushing. You know, my my top uh, forehand is probably 320, and these were definitely in that range. And again, I'm holding back because of my back, so uh, I think I can probably sneak out some more forehand distance by adding a fission time lapse to the bag. It's definitely a possibility. You know, spoiler, I'm loving it. Uh, I just want to, you know, take. I don't want to get too excited again, kind of like I did with the fission teleport, which somewhat put me in this situation. Uh, so I want to make sure I get all healed up before I start trying to, you know, set new personal records with these, but. Yeah, guys, these were the uh, these are the fission time lapses. Strongly encourage you to try one out. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, I would hit up your uh, favorite retailer. I would suggest FoundationDisc.com. Obviously, they're my sponsor. Uh, not only because uh, if you do so, you can use my affiliate link and support me, but all orders now come with Foundation Cares. Meaning, if you order a disc and within 30 days you don't like it. You just go on the website, fill out the form, they'll send you a shipping label, you send the disc back, and you can pick out another disc, brand new, at the same price. So, if, take a shot, it's worth it. If you don't like it, just grab one of your old reliables. So, uh, nothing to lose, highly recommend it. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, this has been my review of the Fission Time Lapse, absolutely love it. Uh, thank you to MVP for sending me these, it's been a great time with them. Uh, but with that, I want to say thank you guys for all your support. If you have any questions for me, reach out, I'll do my best to answer them. Take care. Thank you to my sponsors. For all your disc golf needs, check out Phoenix Discs and Foundation Disc Golf.